Hey guys, welcome back to the craft room. I know it's been, it's been a little bit, right? So we got back from our cruise. We had a ball. We absolutely, we absolutely had a ball. Um, so please ignore this hot mess going on back here. Um, our luggage is like behind me. There's laundry sorted back there. There is clothes from my winter closet where I'm transitioning some things out and putting in some of my spring summer things. So just this back here is just a ignore ignore okay this it's a work it's a work and that's what i'll be working on <laughs> later this afternoon um but in my little hands my chubby little hands here i have a bag from the last stitch i was going out that way today and i thought i'd pop in and see how the lady was doing her name is julie and i love going in and seeing whatever quilt she has on her long arm um, and today's quilt was absolutely beautiful. It was such a spring, summery, floral pattern. And it was a jelly roll quilt because I was staring at it, trying to, I was like, mm-hmm. It was just like four pieces, four jelly rolls going one way, and then a sashing, and then four jelly rolls going this way with a sashing. And it just alternated through the whole quilt. So very easy. Um, you probably wouldn't even really need instructions. Uh, you know, just a jelly roll and your sashing at two and a half inches. So you can buy a jelly roll of white, off white. And because I thought about doing it with this one, the um, Sunday stroll, I thought about doing with that. We'll see. But in this little bag, I have some very pretty summer fabrics as well. This was actually two different trips. Um, I had went before we went on the cruise and I was out that way today and thought, well, I'm going to stop in today and see what she's got. So this is actually two different trips and I'm going to separate it by the two different trips here. So I'm going to pan you guys down like I normally do and we're going to check out this fabric because it is so pretty. I wanted to share it with you guys. And I want to, there you go, paint you down. And yes, it is lemons. It is so pretty. When I saw this uh, peeking out of her little tray, she has like organizer trays, kind of like exactly what I have up here with my fabric in it, the big square ones or rectangular ones. She has these all just sitting up, you know, like this, all real pretty and neat, just sitting up and you can go through and pick fat quarters. Um, her fat quarters are $3 a piece. That is pretty standard from where I've shopped around before and seen other people's fat quarters for sale. So here's what we have, right? This is a beautiful lemon blossom. Just beautiful, beautiful lemon blossoms on a very pretty creamy yellow. So pretty. I just cheerful, summery. I love the blue. I love the green. So I picked up a, pa uh, a pair, <laughs> I picked up uh, just kind of a chartreuse lime green to kind of pick up these light shades of green in here. It's kind of a grunge fabric. So I got that one. This is the first, like the first little visit. Then this one is black background with those orange blossoms again and the beautiful leaves, little sliced oranges. I don't want to unfold all these. I will never. There's a border. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a border. Let me see if I can. Um, is there anything on the selvage to tell me anything? Not on that piece. There is a border. I will have to fussy cut that. Lulu. What are you doing? She's back there messing. I did not know there was a border on that one. Okay, so there's that one. So here is the same print, but with white background. Lulu. Oh, here we go. Lemon Fresh Bouquet by Greta Lynn. Okay, that's what it is. Lemon Fresh Bouquet. Lemon Fresh by Greta Lynn. Nice. Love the polka dots on this one. I don't know if this one has a border. I don't think it does. It doesn't look like it. So there is the white background. I'm just going to kind of scooch that up. So today I was in and saw these. Similar, but not the same. 
these have little pitchers and little pink lemonades. Oh my gosh. But it has the black. It has like the gray. This would add like just a hint of pink to kind of change up the color. And it is lemon fresh. There it is designed by Greta Lynn for canvas that with a K canvas in association with Bina Ben Ben Retex Artex Ben Artex. I'm reading it upside down, people. <laughs> and this one is called Thirst Quencher. That's the name of this one, Thirst Quencher. So super pretty. We'll add a little pop of pink whenever I decide whatever it is I'm gonna do with this one. So there is that one. And I saw this one again, a little pop of pink. There's those beautiful lemon blossoms and the lemons. This one has like little frames. This one is, oh, it does. I just got the lemon fresh. It doesn't tell me the, the actual pattern name. It just says lemon fresh. So there's that one. And I'm loving the little pop of pink. Put you there. And then last, I got another green. And this is a polka dot green. Just to kind of pick up, kind of on the polka dot there. And it's just a really pretty, simple polka dot green. I think I actually have the same green in my, um, nothing on the selvage. My scrap quilt, where I was going and buying scraps from her. I'm pretty sure I have the same green in my, um, my little scrappy quilt. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Yeah. Seven fat quarters, and I'm just kind of collecting right now. I do want to get like some pink, pardon me, some pink, maybe as an accent color, and maybe a blue. I don't know. Uh, and just, I don't know yet what I want to do with this fabric, but I just thought it was so pretty. If you guys have um, pretty easy patterns for just using fat quarters, post me some links down below. So, yep. Pop you guys back up. That is my lemon fabric collection I have going so far. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to put this yet. Let me grab one of these baskets. Yeah, we'll put it down in this basket. Even though that's got some Christmas fabric in there that doesn't go there. It goes somewhere else. It goes with the Christmas fabric. I'm going to stack it down in this basket. Just stacking it down in the basket. I'm trying to remember what all I had in this basket. All right. But that is it for this little short video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know down below what you're working on. What are you crafting on? Is it something you're sewing? Something you're painting? Something you're beading? Floral arrangement? Let me know down below what you're working on. I'll see you on the next one.